So, apparently, Megan, according to the Mirror, is, well, and a few other papers, is afraid of going to the UK on May 8th. This is because she's afraid of getting booed. Have you heard that? So yeah, she's afraid of getting booed. And so she doesn't want to go with Harry for that reason. <laughs> what do you think? Well, what do I think? I think she looks very self-possessed in this picture here that they used in the mirror article. I think that she um, she just knows who she is, you know, and she has her reasons. She has her, yeah, she has her reasons. If she goes, she has her reasons. If she doesn't go, she has her reasons, obviously. Um, do I think that she's even remotely concerned about getting booed? Yeah, I mean, look, nobody wants to be booed, you know, but I don't think she would you know that that would be a reason for her not to go and support her husband you know i think that um you know it's just it's not important it's kind of like you know she's not the invictus games i mean the invictus games are you know part of the invictus foundation which is supported by her husband and she cares about the veterans but you know she's not the central attraction for the service i mean it's about the veterans right and she doesn't if she decides not to go it's because she doesn't want to distract from the veterans it's not because she's afraid of getting booed right i think they're trying to goad her into going you know and it's kind of telling also you know how they are already in advance telling us who they are it's like this woman comes to support veterans all over the world who have been injured, servicemen, service women who have been injured in the line of duty, protecting their various countries. And all that these people can do is, is talk about how, um, you know, talk about how they're going to show up to boo this woman. Right. It's completely lost in them that this is not about this woman. It's about the veterans. She's showing up for the veterans. So is her husband. But all they can talk about is how they're planning to show up to focus not on the veterans, but on humiliating someone who's supporting the veterans. It just it's so telling. Who these people are isn't it think about it they can't see beyond their own assholishness right this is such assholishness they can't even discern it they're so consumed with their small mindedness that they can't see that it's they who are the assholes So you can't really, you know, blame Megan for not wanting to just give them her energy, give them the time of day and for preferring to focus on, you know, going to Nigeria if that's what she's planning to do, you know. But at the same time, you can't be surprised if she does show up, you know, to to do what she thinks is the right thing for her husband and for the veterans and so on and so forth, despite, you know, the colossal arseholishness of the host country right now. And these people want to host the 2027 games. They are like literally fighting and paying money to do that. Yet they can't get past their assholishness for all a few hours to allow the wife of the person who founded these games on behalf of injured servicemen and women to enter into a, a cathedral to pay her respects 
Like their, their media is already inciting the people to go out and boo this woman. Yet they are fighting for the 2027 games. I mean, to me, this is disqualifying because you're saying that you can't respect the veterans long enough, not even for an hour, right? Not even for an hour. You know, you can't respect the veterans long enough, not even for an hour to put aside your own personal gripes, your own personal small mindedness, small heartedness to remain silent and shows in just in, in the name of some respect for these veterans to allow the participants and the people walking in and out of that cathedral to do so with some dignity. You're already planning on booing and yet you have the audacity to stand there and think that you would have the right to bid on hosting the Invictus Games. You 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 are not qualified. You are presumptively disqualified from hosting these games if you can't respect the participants of the games, including the wife of the founder of the games. To me, it is fundamentally disqualifying. It's fundamentally disqualifying. And again, I don't understand why Harry doesn't just switch out from the games, from holding the games or having the, the UK um, be the host country for these games. You know, I don't understand why he continues to allow them to, 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 well, not continues to allow them, but why he doesn't switch the foundation out of the UK altogether and, and, and literally ban the UK from ever hosting any of the Invictus games going forward because they lack the, the, the population, it appears, and certainly the press lacks the ability to respect the participants, the, the, the partners, the founders, etc. From, from, uh, from booing the participants. They should not be booing anybody associated with these games, attending these games, whether it is the athletes or, again, the founders, the participants. Any country that isn't able to contain themselves long enough to allow people to have a respectful time at the games, entering, especially entering the service for the games, should be presumptively disqualified from hosting those games. Am I unreasonable in, in saying that? It, it, it just, to me, it just seems so basic. You can't respect somebody walking into a, a church to, to pay some respects to the games and you want the games to be hosted in this country? What? To me, it just doesn't make any sense. Wait, am I unreasonable here? Am I unreasonable here? How does England qualify to host the games, any games, when they can't even allow the wife of the founder of the games to have some dignity walking into and out of the, the church or a venue associated with those games. It means that next year, if those games are held in Birmingham, Megan can't go. If she can't go to a church for one hour, and it, it doesn't take an hour to walk past the crowds. It takes about, you know, a, a minute, two minutes, three minutes to walk past the crowds. They can't give her three minutes of respect. How is she going to attend games that are held in Birmingham or any other UK city? And why should Harry continue to put up with that? I think this is disqualifying. I think he should move the games out of the UK jurisdiction completely, the foundation, the, the Invictus Foundation should be permanently moved out of the UK and the UK should be permanently banned. Every city in the UK should be permanently banned from holding those games with these kinds of intimidation tactics that its press is leveling against the wife of the founder 
who happens to be Harry, Duke of Sussex. Am I wrong? Harry has a right to protect his wife and Meghan has a right to having respect, the respect that she deserves as his wife and as someone who's working to support injured servicemen and women from around the world. And we're not having any venues where she's going to be booed or she's going to be intimidated. Right? Tell me if you agree in the comments.